This is Dr. Padma Garvey. Thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to show you a simplified version of a traditional South Indian dish featuring lentil crepes stuffed with wild rice with a side of spicy tomato chutney. This dish will allow you to utilize yet another lentil in your cooking so that you can add some variety to your plant-based diet. You're going to need mung dal and you're going to add two cups of mung dal with half a cup of brown rice and you're going to add some water so that you have everything submerged nicely and you'll let this soak on your counter for about eight hours. Then you're going to chop about five ripe tomatoes and you'll need some menthi seeds, some black mustard seeds, you'll need some asafoetida powder or hing powder, and you'll need about three to six dried red chilies depending on how spicy you like your food. You can get all of these through Amazon.com or you can go to your Indian grocery store. You're going to heat one tablespoon of olive oil and add three teaspoons of the black mustard seed. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of the menthi seeds and that's going to start heating up. You'll add your dried red chilies and make sure everything's covered with the oil. As it heats, you're going to um, add about half a teaspoon of the hing powder and cover with a lid because the black mustard seeds are going to start popping. And you want to make sure that they really start popping before you then add your diced tomatoes. You're going to add about half a teaspoon of salt and mix everything thoroughly and cover and let it cook for about 15 minutes. And what's going to happen is the tomatoes are going to release their liquid. You're going to then continue cooking uncovered so that the mixture reduces nicely and let it cool. Then you're going to get one medium onion, about half an inch of ginger and two green chilies. Your mung dal and rice should be pretty well soaked and you're going to drain the water. Uh, so you're going to add water and then drain and you're going to do this a couple of times until the water is pretty clear. Then in your blender, you're going to throw in the diced onion, the green chilies, and the ginger. Put about a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of ground cumin powder. You'll take two fistfuls of the dal and rice mixture and add enough water so that it's just covering the tip of the mixture and grind very well in a blender until you get a nice smooth batter. And you'll have to do this a couple of times so that you finish mixing up all the mung dal and the rice and the consistency is going to be like that of a very liquidy pancake batter. Then the tomatoes should be cool by now. You're going to add the entire contents of the skillet into the blender. Add about a teaspoon of tamarind paste, which you again can get through Amazon or at your local Indian store. And then you're going to grind that into a nice smooth paste as well. You'll need a really good griddle, and I got this one off of Amazon as well. It's from India, and it's perfect for these kinds of recipes. You want to heat it medium-high, and for a thin crepe, just put two ladles of the batter and gently go in concentric circles moving outward until you pass the batter into a thin sheet as shown. And you're going to need to let it cook for a while until it really starts to brown and crisp. 
And since this one's an extra thin one, it's a little difficult to release the edges, but don't, don't get frustrated. This takes practice. And you're going to flip it and let it cook for about two, three minutes on the other side. Then you'll put some wild rice and ladle some of the tomato chutney on top of the wild rice. You'll roll it up and you can eat it like a burrito with a knife and fork. I'm gonna show you how to make a thicker one. Some people like their crepes a little thicker. And in order to do that, you're going to um, go back to the skillet and this time you're gonna add three and a half ladles of the batter and do the same thing where you push the dough, push the batter gently uh, to the edges and you'll cook the uh, crepe on medium high heat until the edges uh, are easy to pick up and when it's thicker it's easier to do and you'll cook the other side for a couple of minutes and again stuff it with some rice add the spicy tomato chutney roll it up and eat it like a burrito uh, this is a really high protein uh, food and something that you and your family can enjoy thank you